Hey yogis, I'm Nicole, welcome to My Yoga Time. Today's yin practice is especially beneficial when you're feeling really fatigued or run down. Now in this class I am going to use the wall, so do position your mat close to the wall. I've also got a yoga bolster. If you don't have a yoga bolster, you can improvise with a rolled up blanket or one or two pillows, and also two yoga blocks, and you can improvise there with a thick book. So when you're ready, we're going to begin with our legs up against the wall, and I will be using the blocks in this pose as well. So sit with one hip touching the wall and then bring your shoulders down as you swing those legs up. So of course you might choose to stay here. If you'd like to bring in a little back bend, then we'll bend those knees, press the feet into the wall as you lift the hips and either place one block on the flat side or two blocks stacked on top of one another underneath the lower back. And then we'll straighten those legs and allow them to fall heavy against the wall. Arms can be by your side with the palms facing the ceiling, or you can take the arms above the head and hold onto opposite elbows with the hands. And during this practice, let your breath be your point of focus. So each time the mind wanders, come back to the breath, moving the body, energizing and cleansing the body. You might even like to visualize the breath here, moving in a wave-like motion, inhaling from the crown of the head to the soles of the feet, and pause. Exhale from the soles of the feet to the crown of the head. When you're ready, let's release the pose, pressing the feet into the wall to lift up your hips, removing your props. And then when you touch down, we'll come into butterfly pose. So soles of the feet to meet, 
Knees to fall out wide. Hands can rest on the knees, the navel, or again, out to the side or above the head. And take your breath now into the lower body, the lower belly, the lower back, the hips and thighs. Always taking a moment to pause, to hold the breath, just for a few seconds, before exhaling slowly. And if those arms are overhead, let's bring them down now. You can use your hands to bring those knees together. And we'll just roll off to one side, come down into the fetal position, and then bring yourself up to seated. So we'll use our bolster for the next pose or your pillow. Some of you might like to use the block as well. So from here, we're gonna lay down on your side so right shoulder and right arm are gonna rest on the floor and your head is gonna rest on the floor. But if your head doesn't meet the floor with ease, place a block underneath. So no strain through the neck. Now your left arm can go overhead, fingertips or the palms to meet the floor. But if your left shoulder is in any sort of discomfort here, then just bring those palms together instead. And if you find that your hips need a little support here, you can always place a block in between those thighs. And I like to take a mudra here with the right hand connecting index finger and thumbs for chin mudra. And when you're ready, closing the eyes down. And observing the ebb and flow of your breath, moving the body.
And let's follow your next inhalation coming out of the pose. And we'll change sides. Returning to those knees. Laying your left shoulder down. Right arm overhead or bring the palms together if there's any concerns with your right shoulder. Observing the breath in the side body. There's nowhere to be but with your breath. Let's follow the next inhalation coming out of the pose. From here, we'll move into child's pose. But if you experience any pain in your knees and hips in child's pose, then feel free to skip this pose altogether. So sitting back onto the heels, and you might like to place the block underneath the head for support. Otherwise, forehead can meet the mat. If you prefer your arms out in front, that's fine. Otherwise, hands next to the feet palms to face the ceiling. And even here you might like to take your mudra. Feel the breath in the back side of the body. The back gently rising and expanding when you inhale. Find that moment to pause before you exhale and surrender into the pose.
On your next inhalation, start to lift up out of the pose. From here, we'll come down onto our back, props to the side. Do you have all your props close by? We're gonna come into our supported bridge pose. So you might choose to use your blocks or your bolster or your pillow. So lifting up those hips and placing your prop underneath your bottom. You might choose to keep the knees bent only if it feels okay for your back. Can you straighten and relax the legs? If there's any catching here in the back, then choose to keep those knees bent. Arms can be by your side or above the head. Or I like to use the blocks here as well if you're not using them underneath your low back. One under each hand and we'll turn those palms to face down. And just let those hands fall heavy on the blocks. Closing the eyes down. And observing here the front side of the body rising and falling with the ebb and flow of your breath. And when you're ready, bending the legs if they are straight, we'll press into the balls of the feet, lift up the hips and the heels together. Roll your bolster down if that's what you were laying on so that it's behind the knees. If you weren't on your bolster, bring it in now behind your knees for Shavasana. I, once again, here I like to rest my hands on the blocks. Typically we would practice with our palms facing up for Shavasana. But I find in times of fatigue, it's more comfortable to rest those palms down on the blocks. But do be sure to tuck your shoulders under. 
allowing the heart to expand. And as you close the eyes down, soften the forehead, the tongue and jaw. Feeling the meeting points between the back side of the body and the mat. Take a deep inhalation and pause. And as you exhale, give in to gravity. And begin to inhale a little deeper now as you guide your awareness back. You might like to swallow if the mouth is dry. Or gently rock the head from side to side. When you're ready, follow those urges to move or stretch. Before rolling to your preferred side. And bringing yourself up to seated. Thanks Yogis, I hope that you enjoyed that practice. If you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to the channel and not just my channel, but any yoga teacher that you watch on a regular basis as it's the best way to support free yoga on YouTube. Wishing you a lovely day.